How much is Sundial SNDL stock worth? I wanted to put together a projection and uh, for SNDL stock, uh, given the fact that we're starting to see a move upwards. Maybe we'll see. Cannabis stocks have really been taking a beating over the past couple months, but nonetheless, we are seeing some movement up higher. I did see tilt moved higher, and so I want to do a quick update on Sundial. And one of the reasons why is because I want to build a foundation to for what to look at for this stock. The reason why is simply this. They're sitting on a ton of cash. We're about to see some of the uh, acquisitions that they have done. Uh, Inner Spirit is going to fold into the company. So we're going to start seeing some things going on. Expect a lot more M&A activity out of Sundow in the next couple months. But what I have here is a discounted cash flow statement that I've put together on these uh, on Sundow. I'm going to continue to do these throughout the rest of the uh, first por portion of this year coming up. We will be getting guidance on these guys here pretty soon. Let's move forward. Uh, discounted cash flow statements. For those of you who don't know, this gives us uh, models for valuation. And what it does effectively is it eliminates all sort of fundamental concepts of what the business is about and it just looks at numbers and it says this thing produces cash what is that cash worth today the cash will continue to get higher and higher and higher over the course of the next couple quarters and years so this projection takes in the next five years 2022 23 24 25 and 26 and it asks the question or answers the question what is that cash flow from the future operations of this business worth today now we've got a lot of changes about to happen i try to project a few things um but next quarter when we get uh, 2022 guidance should uh, Sundial growers give us guidance we'll have a better understanding for these guys but this model for valuation does give us kind of this working concept for all stocks any stock but it's not a perfect science um, cannabis stocks it it seems as if investors just are not interested in cash flow uh, for the record, Sundown right now is not cash flow positive, but there's going to be some changes with um, the upcoming uh, mergers starting to hit their, their financial statements. All right, so here's some assumptions I'm working under. 25% tax rate, discount rate of 8%, perpetual growth rate of 25%. That's probably low. Um, more than likely, this should be about 35%. That seems to be about the perpetual growth rate for cannabis companies. If I would have put 35% in there, that would affect my target price. Um, another thing, um, enterprise value versus EBITDA multiple. I tend to use 100 times, but I wanted to back it off just a little bit to be a little conservative. You would use, say, 40 or so, given um, the future earnings multiple based upon um, uh, where the broader market is. 75 is pretty modest we could have i could have easily pushed this to 100 and probably would have seen a stock price between 10 and say 1250 transaction date and fiscal year date um so basically what i'm doing is i'm looking at the end of this year or last year december 31st 2021 and i'm asking what's the question uh what is sundial stock projection sndl stock projection current price is roughly about 66 cents market cap about 1.19 billion they've got about 66 million in debt and here's the real kicker for sundown right here 589 million in cash this is where i really start asking questions what is this stock worth that cash you're going to get a tax on that because what's it doing put it to work kind of thing but they are and they do have some potential there so let's move forward these are your assumptions here's your market valuation actually as i mentioned earlier 1.193 billion debt so this gets us our enterprise value you uh, add in debt take out the cash it leaves you with the enterprise value of 670 million that's all the working company really is worth and it's because they're sitting on so much cash but the market cap does come in at close to 1.2 billion um, and 66, 66 cents per share for Sundial SNDL stock. All right. So here are, here's the revenue projection for 2022. 
this is soft. I bet we hit 450 easy. I also bet that we could see as high as 475 to 500. Given where they are today, this does not include any kind of M&A activity that they would bring in over the course of the next couple short period of time and include that accretively into 2022. So I'm just looking at 2022 and I really do believe I'm kind of um, low on this. I'm using a 25% EBIT rate on the 400 million. Uh, again, this should, could easily be 450, 475, maybe 500. Uh, I increased it to 2023, 24, 25, and 26. I increased it 500 million, 600 million, 750 million, and 1 billion going five years out. I took a 25% EBIT rate here, 27 and a half, 30%, 32.5%, and then 35% for 2026. The better companies are between, say, 30 and 40 uh, EBITDA versus revenue, but these could go a little higher. I kind of kept it soft. I also believe that my revenue numbers are a little soft given their potential. Keep in mind, they got about over a half a billion dollars in cash. So we already know that my numbers are not going to be accurate. This is going to be an ongoing story. As more and more information comes in, I begin to update all of this, these variables. And as we get closer and closer to 2026, we'll get a better idea what they're going to be at. Your tax that you're going to be paying over the next couple of years, depreciation, amortization, net changes in working capital, CapEx, um, I kept CapEx pretty moderate. Um, I see these guys probably getting more involved with M&A than actual capital expenditures, but Inner Spirit, uh, may, there may be some activity there. Here is your unlevered free cash flow that you're looking at over the course of the next couple of years. And this is where we're asking the question, what is all this worth today? Now on this one, here we take into consideration your entry date 20, uh, 2021, then all the future dates going out with an exit date of 2026. Uh, your year fraction, one year out, two years out, three years out, four years out, and five years out. Uh, your EBIT rate, I've already explained that in the earlier portion. Um, cash taxes, Again, they're sitting on a mountain of cash at a 25% rate, so that's going to have some effect. Um, DNA, CapEx, and then, of course, uh, changes in NWC. Your unlevered free cash flow, you can see how it uh, changes throughout the next couple of years. And this is what we're looking at potentially over the next couple course of in, uh, years. Rate of return. So... The intrinsic value of Sundial or SNDL stock projection would be about $5.44 given the information we have right now. Again, a lot of this information is going to change really quick. Your upside is $4.77. Target price upside, that's 720%. Now, someone just put up on my forum that a lot of the picks that I have were based on simply Wall Street, are something like 90% undervalued. Basically, if it's a $1 stock, these stocks are trading at $0.10. Cents. Um, there's a lot of potential upside. So something like this is within the wheelhouse. Mind you, there's a ton of cash here. The estimated or enterprise value was almost actually about the same as the cash value. The internal rate of return was going to be about 86%. Going back over our assumptions, just to kind of keep in mind what would possibly you'd need to see regarding hitting these numbers. What does it take to hit 5, 550, 6, 750 in those areas? Mind you, I used a 75 times EV EBIT multiple. It could have gone to 100. But there's some other assumptions I wanted to kind of reiterate real quick. Uh, rate of growth was 25%. That's low could be as high as 35%. They're sitting on a mountain of cash. They're going to put it to work. Uh, the EV EBITDA rate, again, I mentioned I used um, 75, could easily push to 100. That would push the stock between, say, 10 and 1250. I 
probably underestimated revenues. Next quarter, not too far away from now, we're going to be getting Q4 data plus 2022 guidance. These numbers tend to be a little delayed simply because it's end of year. So it's not a perfect three months out interval. Uh, we'll see when they what, what they come out with and when that comes out itself. Um, CapEx, I'm not really certain how they're going to spend their cash that they do have. We've seen uh, some interesting leverage buyouts happening. And if companies start doing that kind of thing, if they're getting access to capital in that kind of way, um, it was Cureleaf that just pulled one off. Maybe Sundial doesn't use their, uh, Sundial Growers doesn't use their ca cash to do anything except maybe buy their stock back, which I thought was a brilliant move on their part. So these are some assumptions that I've been working on on this little um, discounted cash flow. Um, watch for increased M&A next year. They have a mountain of cash. They're going to put it together. I've always said that Valens Company, I think, is a target for them to acquire. But I could also see Sundown making major moves into the United States somehow. Finally, Q4 2022 guidance. A lot of the information I have here is going to change basically right away once the company tells us this is what we expect for 2022. I'm building a model right now knowing that I don't have uh, all the information. None of us do. So we I'm anxiously awaiting 2022 guidance going forward. Here's one more thing I wanted to kind of take a look at. Short sellers really have not been attacking Sundial as much. And the 50% line is what you're really kind of looking for. Most of the daily um, percentage of a uh, volume is less than 50%, but there are some days where short traders came in and just clobbered it. 94.8% of the volume for the day was short selling. That's crazy. But at the same time, there are some numbers a little more down to earth. Nonetheless, Sundow Grows has seen a bit of a bid. Go back to the chart right quick. It's very possible that cannabis stocks have put in a pseudo bottom. Now, I hate to jinx myself, and as soon as I say that, see these stocks go much lower. But the truth is, there's a tremendous amount of value out there for these companies. I'm targeting $5.44 based on the information right now with Sundell, uh, SNDL stock projection. Going forward, I'll continue to build on this model and see if we can narrow down the price. But even, even if I'm halfway wrong, Sundell's trading just above 60 cents, pushing 70 cents. If they hit a dollar, you're doing quite well. If they hit two dollars, you're doing amazingly well. Two fifty, three, three fifty, four, five dollars for Sundell. If you're getting in now, considering what they have sitting on cash, this is a strong potential for investment. Thanks a lot. If you like my content, thanks so much for hitting the like button, leaving those comments. Really appreciate it. Follow along. I've got plenty of more of these coming. We'll see you in the next video.